fans. It's something that we don't talk about often enough, but it is something that we totally rely on to keep our computers running, to keep our computers from overheating. Now, this video is not exactly a fan review, but I just want to show you the difference between having fan and no fan at all. And with me here is the XPG Vento Pro 120mm fan that I really like. 2000 RPM, um, nice ball bearings as you can see, one twist and it spins all the way, silent. And basically, it's, the, it's um, based on this very popular Nidec Gentle Typhoon that has high static pressure and high airflow. For this experiment, I'll be using the Fantex Eclipse G300A. The one with me here is the one without the front intake fans, which is just perfect for this purpose as my purpose is to install 3 units of the XPG Vento Pro on the front panel. I'm using an AMD Ryzen 5 5900X with a Noctua U12 SE cooler and an SROG RX 5700 XT Tai G. The tests are done with the case running without fans, case running at fans going full speed, and the case with the fans running at stock settings. The first test involves running Cinebench R23, 10 minutes stress test to see the average and peak temperatures and here's what I got. For the average temperature, you see that running full speed and living on stock gets a reading that is very close while going without front intake fan shows a higher reading. As for the peak temperature, again we see similar behavior where going with more air movement has impact on the temperature. Will this impact performance? Well, yes, a little bit like for example AMD processors, when it reach a certain level of uh, temperature, it does reduce the clock speed a bit, especially here with my 28 degrees Celsius ambient, of course it's warmer. So if you're someone with a 21 degrees Celsius ambient, then the maximum, the temperature will be a lot cooler, so then it will not be affecting the performance, not at all. The second test involves the graphics card of which I used Unigine Superposition and took note of the temperature reading at certain stages of the test. There's quite a huge variance in temperature, fortunately the frame rate difference is very little. And since I'm already doing all these tests, I thought I'd pit the XPG Vento Pro against the Noctua Industrial PPC 2000 RPM fan that is already on the heatsink and this is the result. It seems that the performance is literally the same, just that the Vento Pro here costs less than the Noctua's fan. So all in all, does this mean it's okay to go without any fans on your case? I would say it depends on the setup. If you're using a Core i3 and say a GTX 1050, anything that's uh, not demanding and just playing Dota, I totally don't see a problem with that. But if you're running a high specs machine, it's going to get warm inside and especially if you're in a warmer country and all that, definitely you should afford some fans. Even if you don't get a fan of this price point, you can get at least some simple fans to at least move the air around so that your system gets cool air, fresh air and as the air flows, it will exhaust the warm air out of the rest of the crevices on your PC case. Well, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one and bye bye.